Matthew chapter 7, verses 15 through 20. And he says, Beware of false prophets who come to you in sheep's clothing, but inwardly are ravenous wolves. You will recognize them by their fruits. Are grapes gathered from thorn bushes or figs from thistles? So every healthy tree bears good fruit, but the diseased tree bears bad fruit. A healthy tree cannot bear bad fruit, nor can a diseased tree bear good fruit. Every tree that does not bear good fruit is cut down and thrown into the fire. Thus, you will recognize them by their fruit. And in 2 Peter chapter 2 and verse 1, we read, But false prophets also arose among the people, just as there will be false teachers among you who will secretly bring in destructive heresies, even denying the master who bought them, bringing upon themselves swift destruction. So again, this is not an isolated incident here in the Sermon on the Mount. Somebody's identifying an individual as a false prophet, and we just kind of go, well, no, that person's not a false prophet, because they actually stand up and they use Bible verses. And of course, if it was a false prophet, they would stand up and use... What, the Bhagavad Gita, do you think? Do you think that would be a successful false prophet if he stood up and didn't use Bible verses? No. Of course they use Bible verses. Of course they use narrow gate language. Of course they do. And what they do is prey on individuals who are biblically and theologically illiterate. Illiterate, illiterate, illiterate.